Welcome to DTLT Today. I'm Tim Owens, and I'm, once again, all by myself in the office, which is kind of cool. It uh, allows me to do things that I probably wouldn't do in front of other people. But, in fact, I'm doing them in front of a live audience on the Internet and archiving it for you all to laugh and make fun of me. So, why not? Um, in this episode, I thought, why not show you some things that I've done on DS106 Radio before? So uh, fairly often on DS106 Radio, what I like to do is jump on there and play some music. And I don't actually play an actual instrument. I play the iPhone and the iPad sometimes, but I'm using an iPhone today. Uh, I am a bit of a vocalist, so I can do some singing, but I've never really gotten into an instrument that much. I can play a little bit of piano, a little bit of guitar, but not enough to actually hammer out a, a whole song. Uh, so I love the applications that are on the iPhone because it makes it a little bit easier to do some very basic stuff. It's not going to replace, you know, an actual artist any more than, you know, some of the artistic apps on there aren't going to replace real drawing skill. Uh, but, you know, it does really help to play around with some of this stuff. And so I figured, why not? I'll show you how to do with some of this. I've got my handy iPivo camera to be able to show you. Um, this is an iPhone 4S, so I could have done the display mirroring, but too much for me to figure out right now. So I figured for now we'll just deal with this camera. So let's take a minute to get set up and then I'll show you some of the apps that I'm using. Uh, this camera is really cool by the way for demoing that kind of stuff. Uh, if you don't want to get into the whole display mirroring and things like this it's a standard USB camera. We've used it before for stuff like this and it works really well. So let's see here. Hopefully if I move this down like that and I'll try not to get too particular about this. It's my daughter, by the way. Shout out to her. So the first app I want to show you is called Thumb Jam. And I should probably try and... Let's see here. Just make sure it's zoomed in here. And I'll zoom in this shot a little bit so you can see it better. All right, so this is what Thumb Jam looks like. Thumb Jam is actually an application, I believe, and I'm not sure on prices. Pricing changes all the time in the App Store, but last time I checked, it was 5 or $6. Uh, but it's cool because it has a ton of different uh, instruments in there, and especially on the iPhone, it's really easy to control. So these right I have right now are drums open, and let's make sure that the sound works. Yeah, so these are drums in here, so I could start playing around with this. So it sounds really good. They've got uh, other instruments in here. I'll show you. If you go here, you can change the instrument. And there's a whole list of stuff. So check this out. And it's unreal. So for example, like let's say I choose pipe organ. This is what it looks like normally. So there's all these lines on here. And these are all different notes on a scale. And you can make a shorter scale or longer. This has a lot of different octaves in it. So if I run my finger across it like this. Kind of cool, huh? I should also mention that Thumb Jam uh, can read accelerometer data. So I have it on the uh, table right now. But if I was actually to, let's say, switch it to a guitar. I'm going to switch to an electric guitar here. And I'm going to pick it up, which might make this a little bit more difficult. But I'll hold this out for you to see. So I can do one of these and move it around. kind of cool, huh? So, and the last thing that I absolutely love about Thumb Jam, and I'll show this off for you right now, 
let's just get that in there, is that it does looping. So you can actually build out uh, all kinds of beats and stuff with this. So I'm going to switch back to the drums here to show you what that actually means. Um, so we had like that cool sound here where I was doing one of these. What if I wanted that to loop and then build something on top of it? Well, I just go up here to loop and say record loop, and it's going to wait for me to start playing. So I'll start doing it. So now we have a loop, not touching anything, and it's going. At this point, I can add another instrument on top of it. So I'll go up here, change the instrument. And let's say I want some flute. So if I go up to loop, I can record that. Cool, huh? I'm going to pause that for a minute. So you can build out a, several different tracks with all your instruments on there that you want, which is kind of cool because then, you know, let's say, for example, you were a, a beatboxer or something like that, it would be really easy for you to quickly start laying down a track in the background. I am not that kind of person, but I do like playing around with like DJ type stuff. That's my next application that I'll show you on here. Uh, it's called DJ, and it's D-J-A-Y, and that's how you spell that one. This is an application that allows you to import some audio or bring it in from iTunes, and then you can scratch and mix it up. Now, I just got this iPhone a couple of days ago, so I don't actually have some real music on here. But what I do have, ironically, is this uh, well-known podcast that people may or may not watch. Uh, and those come in here as well. <laughs> So I've got some audio of the podcast that we normally talk on, DTLC Today. Uh, so, And you can see what you, you can add music in here. If I hit the plus sign, there's all the different uh, songs. And you can see I have all of three, and they're all podcasts here. Uh, but I've already loaded one in here. Once it's loaded in, you can hit play. Put these onto our shelf. I don't have them. And that, you know, that's just normal playing. But I'm going to move this so I can use both hands here you can actually scratch with your fingers. So watch this. Which is kind of fun, right? You can move around. Something like that, yeah. Um, of, of, yeah. You could set cues here. So if I mark this as a cue spot, when I hit play here. To go with, to go with, to go with, to go with, to go with. And it'll always start at that spot if I go, go back with. here. So this is what's really fun about this is that so let me add a different one in here and then what I like to do is go back into thumb jam you'll, rec you'll remember before that we were making that song in here um, and let me make this full screen so you can see what I'm doing here let's see alright so I'm in thumb jam I'm going to start my loop again Awesome multitasking. We'll switch back over to the DJ app. But then the, the idea also is that you have this kind of. So that's just something fun that you can do uh, that, that's not really compelling music, so to speak. The next application I'm going to show you in the last one, uh, it, it's a little bit more compelling. But Thumb Jam I love. DJ App is just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, and then the last one that I want to show you is GarageBand. GarageBand was an iPad-only application up until yesterday. Yesterday, Apple released an update with quite a few features that are really cool. And the biggest one is that it's now a universal app. So it runs on not just the iPad, but also the iPhone in the iPod Touch. So I'm going to pop this one over here. 
Another great feature of GarageBand is that you can lock it down to specific chords, and I'll get into that in a minute. Let me actually just show you a little bit about the app first, and then I'll tell you why that's actually a really cool feature. So let's switch over here. All right, so this is GarageBand. This is one instrument right here, which is an acoustic guitar. But it actually has several different instruments in here. I'm going to switch over so you can see all of them. So what they have are called smart instruments, and what you just saw there was one of them, which means that you can lock it down to specific chords. This is great for someone like me that doesn't really know how to play guitar. <laughs> it can help you. Uh, they also have a smart keyboard and a smart bass guitar um, and smart drums. And then they have other stuff. There's a sampler where you can sample audio, um, an audio recorder if you wanted to do vocal type stuff. There's a guitar amp in here where you can actually plug in your guitar and it will allow you to play that guitar using filters that are on the iPhone, which is just incredible. There's a regular drum set, regular keyboard, and then we're back to these smart instruments. I'm going to play around with the keyboard a little bit here. Now, I mentioned before that it, this doesn't actually require you to know how to play because you can lock it down to specific chords. You can see those chords on the screen there. So I've got C, F, A minor, and if I run my finger across those... If I do sustain, it's a little bit easier. So I didn't really need to know how that's actually played on the piano, but I can make it work here. Um, I'll show you why that's really useful by playing a song for you. And this is the, the feature part. If you were watching this l later on, uh, this would be the part that you might want to just stop at. If you have no interest in hearing me sing, or anything like that, or maybe this is the part you want to fast forward to to show off to all your friends. Uh, but I'm going to do, well, let's see, I've got two songs, but I'll just do one. How about that? I'll try and keep this short and simple. I've got a Coldplay song here, uh, which is not one that people request, but usually when I ask for a request, uh, somewhat uh, more aged folks request songs that I've either never, never heard or am not a fan of. So I'm going to play what I want to play. How about that? So. I mentioned before that you could lock down certain chords. If you go in here and edit the chords, I can select any of these. So we've got the C chord there, and I can move this around and change it. So I just have a couple chords here that I need. I need a C. I need a C major 7. That's how that's done. You just swipe your finger across it to get what you need. I need an A minor here, so I'm going to switch to A minor. I need a C slash G. So I got a C with a G bass line major. And then I need F. Let's so scroll down to F here. And then the rest of these I can leave blank. I don't actually need those. So now I've locked in all my chords. I'm going to hit done there. Uh, and you can actually set the tempo, too. I'll tell you why that's helpful. Um, it's helpful for an autoplay feature. Let me go into tempo. and So you can actually tap the screen to set the tempo, or if you have a specific beat per minute, you can set it there. Um, and they've got these autoplay functions. So I'm going to choose one here, and then go back here and touch one of these and this should work well. Pretty cool, huh? So, but those are just standard little things. I like actually playing around with the guitar more, so I'm going to keep that off and actually just play with my fingers. Uh, this is Coldplay's Fix You. And actually, instead of grand piano, I believe they use an electric piano for this. So let's do that. Get what 
you want, but not what you need. You feel so tired, but you can't sleep. Stuck in reverse. The tears start streaming down your face. Lose something you can't replace When you love someone but it goes to waste Let it be worse Lights will guide you and ignite your bones And I will try to fix you So That's just one example you can do with it. I'm not going to fool around with it too much more than that, but definitely check that out. It's only $4.99 in the App Store. Five bucks for tons of tons of uh, instruments in there, a lot of flexibility, and of course, since it's GarageBand, it means it's a multi-track recorder, so you can record multiple tracks on top of each other. You can use all the instruments and export a song. You can push it right out of there uh, and upload it to soundcloud or whatever it is that people are using these days so check out those applications and be sure to check back every day here at the dtlt today office hopefully i'll have a co-worker or two at some point if jim decides that he ever wants to come back to work at mary washington we are uh happy to have him back here so you just pass that song or pass that uh pass that message on to him thanks for watching folks take it easy